Alright guys, um, I know I haven't been recording for a long time, but this Fernando has recently reached out to me and asked uh, he had problems with uh, applying custom theme to Windows 8 uh, and I helped him get through it in a thank me and such and I'm uh, I'm very glad it worked for you Fernando I really am but he also asked me this uh, theme Elune I have downloaded it it is somewhere here here it is there is these uh, system files and what you need to do to in order to get the full team if I can say like that like this is the Elune team I'm currently running it it's uh, probably the best theme I've used I think uh, but to get these buttons and you know a customized explorer the explorer is the uh, the window where you show files and such no, in order to get those you need to replace a certain file and this file is called explorerframe.dll and there are tools like this one quickframe uh, which can do it for you but I mean I really do it myself so I'm gonna show you the manual way then you can do it the uh, the normal way. Oh, I'm sorry. Then you can press Windows key R, or you can just search in here. But this is run. You just type CMD. Go in here. No, you can't. Sorry. Search for CMD. Right click. Run as administrator. Yes. In here, in C slash Windows slash System32. In here is the file explorerframe.dll what you need to do is take the ownership of this file that's why you need to open the command prompt as an uh, administrator so let me just close this down real quick and this one so what you're gonna do is type take own slash f and then just the file explorer frame .dl. success the file or folder C slash Windows slash System32 slash ExploreFrame.dl now owned by user Tim PC and that is the name of this PC and slash the username which is Tim that was a this user so what I now can do is go in here and in here oops no let's just go there C Windows System32. There is this explore frame that deal here. What you now can do, you couldn't do this before, but you can right click properties, uh, general, no, security, edit, choose yourself, and just full permission. Give yourself full permission. Okay, yeah, I want to I wanna do that. And take a backup of this. Continue. I'm just going to rename this to explore frame the DLL dot back just a backup file um, now what you need to do is figure out what type of system you have if you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit the way to do this I don't know about the Windows 8 way of doing it but it's almost impossible to see here uh, what you need to do with Windows 7, I should switch from Windows 8 to Windows 7 because my master drivers is uh, kind of funky in Windows 8. I right click here, computer, and properties. Uh, so this gets you to the system tab. And you can see I have a FX8350 8 core, 4 gigahertz, I have RAM, but this is the interesting bit system type, 64 bit operating system. Now, X, x64 is 64 bit x86 is 32 bit so for me I'm gonna take this one and I'm just gonna take it drag it in here and I want to replace ah it did not work I said thought what you need to do is rename this to like that continue now you can paste yeah you can just get rid of this because we already have a backup oh it's being used Okay, so what we need to do is not open that on the wrong window. Here we have the task manager. 
uh, control shift escape gets you this and you want to kill explorer.dll just like that and my reloaded automatically apparently but what you want to do is do find new task explorer and you get this you see it works beautiful and you have these custom buttons uh, I'm just gonna do this bookmark show bookmarks like that uh, I have uh, this program clover so I have tabs here but you can see my buttons are now changed sweet and uh, this is basically the same for every file uh, he asked about the explorer frame and the shell 32 I think the shell 32 is this button but I'm not I'm not completely sure about that one let's see do I have a start or changer here alright I'm just gonna fix that um, on my own if I can't do that start start orb if I just search for orb maybe experience orb orb changer here we go yeah run denied alright run as administrator yes here we go uh, so I can just load this program up go here desktop uh, maybe I wanna go with this file I don't know <coughs> this is the one I had I think but I didn't have that one I did have where is that one I'm pretty sure I had this one uh, preview oh please I'm just gonna yeah, so these ones, 601, for example, yeah, there we go, that's that's a small one. Um, anyway, that's how you replace that one, hope this answered your question, Fernando. Uh, glad I could help. Um, yeah, I think that's that pretty much covers it. Thanks for watching, bye.